Hey guys, this is my five week pregnancy vlog with baby number two. Um, I feel like it's going by so slow already. <laughs> I know, kind of crazy, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like it t took forever to get to this point. I guess maybe because I found out like four days before um, four weeks. I don't know, but it just feels like it's going so slow already. So hopefully it'll speed up a little bit. Um, Kaylin is over here eating dinner. I'm going to eat mine once I finish this, but this is the only chance where she's like semi-quiet and not like screaming. She's a loud baby and um, running around everywhere, getting in everything. So she's eating dinner. Um, I forgot to mention last week that I did book my first OB appointment. That's to confirm pregnancy. And that is next Thursday, January 24th, and I will be six weeks then. They have me calculated just a little over seven weeks at that point, um, but because I know that I ovulated late and I try to tell them that, um, you know, it's like they don't really believe that until they prove it themselves. I don't know. So I have an ultrasound scheduled too, and that's to, you know, confirm viability and see a heartbeat and everything, but at six weeks, um, the chances of seeing a heartbeat, I mean, I guess they're there, but I don't know. I, I possibly won't too. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll see, you know, kind of what's going on there. And I will update you guys, you know, when we have that. I didn't mention it in my four weeks vlog, but I am due September 19th from my calculated ovulation time. Um, I don't know if that'll change, you know, once I get an ultrasound and they, they tell me, you know, what, you know, the baby's measuring at and everything. So as of now, I am due September 19th. I have been asked if we will find out the gender and I thought that I would address that in a video because I'm sure that's going to be one that I get often. And yes, we will find out the gender. Um, we did with Kaylin and I plan to this time as well just because I am a big planner and organizer that... It's a surprise to me whether I found out, find out at 18 weeks or when the baby uh, is born. So it's a surprise to me either way. It's amazing either way. So yeah, we will find out because I like to have everything planned and organized and like mentally prepared in my head. So as for symptoms this week, mainly at towards like the beginning of the week, um, I made my list here. So I'll be looking at that. Um, diarrhea still at the beginning of the week um it hasn't really been as bad the second part of the week um if anything it's like loose and then like even like constipation some of the time so my bowels are like out of whack crazy the first morning into the fifth week i um i was kind of nauseous even in the morning before i even went to work and even eating really wasn't doing anything for me and then within like an hour hour and a half um, and I was making myself eat. I was feeling much better and then was fine the rest of the day. I'm still peeing a lot. The last couple days I haven't noticed it as much, but I am still peeing more frequently and hungry still, really hungry, gassy still. Like, what's up with this pregnancy gas? Breasts still aren't sore, but like I said, we're breastfeeding. Um, I did notice a little um, sensitive nipples, mainly like when, is that good? Hmm. Mainly when Kaylin like first latches on, it's like, ah, oh. and then like if I'm in the shower or something, the water's coming down and hitting him. Um, it, it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, my back has been starting to break out some, and I had that pretty bad with Kaylin's pregnancy. So I hope it doesn't get bad because I hate that. And when it gets, it got better the later in the pregnancy, but still it wasn't great. And so that's when you want to wear, you know, all kinds of like tank tops and sundresses. And I just feel like it hurts not to like show my back. So hopefully it won't get that bad. Just doing like mild wash and everything just to kind of keep it clear. Um... I'm tired, but I mean, I'm always tired, but I feel a little bit extra tired right now, especially like when the evening comes around, I'm just like, oh, I'm ready to go to bed. But I, I don't think like the full on exhaustion has hit yet. So I kind of dread it when it does because, you know, keeping up with a toddler, working full time, getting everything done that needs to be done, you know, is, is a lot to do. So, um, so hopefully that won't be too bad. I guess that's about it as far as symptoms go. I mean, not too much the last couple days. Um, oh, and bloating. Bloating um, more towards the beginning of the week. I feel a little bloated the last couple days, but it's it's just like just a little bloated pooch. It's not like really bloated and uncomfortable like it has been. 
So I guess that's good. Maybe that beginning kind of bloat's kind of going away. That's just painful and uncomfortable. I don't know. But yes, definitely bloated. And I will tell you, I do not remember feeling this like a pooch when I was only five weeks with Caitlin. So I guess maybe it is true, you know, with you after your first Bailey Hush. With after your first pregnancy, I guess you just start showing quicker because you've already been stretched out. I don't know. But um, so far, it's starting to um, prove that fact. And another thing, it's crazy. Like, so many people are pregnant right now or just finding out they're pregnant or just, like, announcing that they're pregnant. And not just, like, in our little YouTube community, which there are a lot. And congratulations to all of you. And but with my personal life, there have... No, ma'am, don't you feed that to Bailey. Thank you. And uh, there are so many people that are pregnant around me right now. It is crazy. So many people. I just found out today at work that um, that a girl is pregnant, and she's due a week before me. And another friend I found out today, um, one of my really close friends who um, thought she was going to have a hard time getting pregnant. She has an endometriosis really bad. She just got married in November, and um, they took a late honeymoon, like mid-December. Well, she got pregnant on her honeymoon, and they thought it was going to take forever. So I'm really happy for them, and we'll be pregnant together. She's due September 7th, so just ahead of me. Um, but yeah, so many pregnant people around me right now. So I guess that's it for the five-week pregnancy update. Um, this weekend, Saturday, we are planning to go on a little trip to Disney World. I'm so excited. Um, it'll be Kaylin's first time going to Disney. And we're going to go to Magic Kingdom, I believe, just one day. And it'll be so fun. I haven't been since I was little. So I'm really excited to go and see everything. And for her to see everything, no, she won't remember it. But... Um, they get in free under two. So I was wanting to take her to before two. And I figured, you know, now is, you know, better than any time because I'm not, it's not super hot outside. I'm not going to be like huge pregnant like I will later in the summer before she's two. So I kind of think it's just the perfect time. So we're going to Disney this weekend. Are you excited? Are you going to see Minnie Mouse and Cinderella? She's just looking at me while she's eating. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And of course, I'll take a lot of pictures and try to do video and stuff. But that should be a lot of fun. So I guess that's it. I will do um, belly shot measurement real quick. So here is belly shirt on, of course. Said a little pooch going on there. Weight is up one from last week. I don't know if that's just from being bloated and the dogs are whining because they want her food. I don't know if that's from being bloated or because I've been eating so much. Bailey, hush. But it's definitely like this little part right here. Um, yeah, that so wasn't here like five weeks with Kaylin. So yeah, I don't know. That's what we've got going on. Definitely. Eesh. Okay, really? 32 inches? Wow. So half an inch, maybe? I don't know. I guess it's in the same spot. But 32 inches. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys next week. Bye.